wearing, as she typically does, the colors of her native Mexico on Sunday. Gabby Lopez to get within three. Just turned the front nine in 31. Uh, just needs to keep that kind of play going. That pace going with the way she was birding that front tide. Might post a nice little number for the players to chase behind her. What? No bogeys on that front side, four birdies. If you can move up from, you know, 11th to 10th, it's so important. This is Gabby Lopez for her birdie. There's always such a slow putt there from the front of the green up to that whole location. Gabby Lopez with her second shot. Hole very deep in the green on the left corner. Bogey free today for Gabby, four birdies. I'll set up for a big turn to her left. Six holes to go, four shots behind the leader, Jin Young Ko. Gabby Lopez has this for her third shot, a little bit awkward. Found some thicker grass, but one of the longer players on tour, so was able to get it close to the green. Well, Gabby Lopez, this is her fourth shot on this par five. And that'll be a bit of an opportunity miss for her with her power. She'll just tap in there for her par. And wearing the colors of her native Mexico, as she always does on Sunday, Gabby Lopez at the 14th. Whole location today in a very favorable spot for birdies. And Gabby doing just that. And Gabby Lopez, Volunteers of America, as you can see there, celebrating its 125th year. Thousands of volunteers across America. At the 16th, Morgan Pressel is seeing what all the commotion is about with Gabby Lopez. Yeah, she's got her friends and family out here cheering her on, that's for sure. They're making some noise today. And this is Gabby Lopez on the tee. Gabby's actually gone from 60th in driving distance to 11th this year. And I asked her boyfriend yesterday, Santiago, how she did that. He said she's gained about five miles per hour on her ball speed. Mix of technique, improvement, and a lot of work with her trainer. You can see that she's like, yeah. she's like, oh, I was hoping that was going to jump. Yeah, that's just huge. I mean, that's just looking at the numbers, looking at the metrics, and, and trying to figure out what little piece of it that's missing. Boy, the line looked good. Ooh. Not a bad leap there, below the hole. And this is Gabby Lopez. She has this for an eagle, Morgan. She left herself in a perfect spot here in this narrow entrance to the green. Beautiful chip there. Really well judged to set her up for her seventh birdie of the day. And I just, I think, I'm afraid she's gonna run out of holes, 15 and 17, playing two of the easiest holes all week. She's playing some great golf, but the leaders still have to play these holes too. I, I think you you might be right. She she kind of kind of treaded water a little bit through 10, 11, and 12. A chance for Gabby Lopez to post a number here. Tee shot. 260 yards. The bunker in the middle of the fairway, playing pretty good downwind today. Well, this is awkward looking, Lopez. Yeah, she's in a really tough spot foot out of the bunker. She had no choice but to just take a you, lob wedge and get it out back out into the fairway. Judy, what a big missed fairway that is for Gabby. That just kind of came out funny. Almost sounded like she caught it high on the face. Not a good strike. All right, long par putt for Lopez to post a number at 18. Yeah, just gently up the hill. Going to give this a run to post something that the leaders might think about. I don't know that 15 would have gotten it done. The bogey putt for Gabby Lopez at 18. 
chases it in. A 65 for Gabby. There's a lot of friends and family watching.